Hi everyone, this is Cyber here. I'm here today to bring you a new video. This is Aperture Desk Job. Uh, I believe it came out today uh, for the Steam Deck because it's optimized for it. Uh, I think that's why Valve pretty much brought it out for for the Steam Deck to show off how well it works and stuff. But I'm playing it on PC because I didn't. I don't need a Steam Deck. I I don't travel that much. I don't. I have, I have no use for it really. But. If you guys enjoy that, that's fine. It's you do what you want to do. I just want to check out this game. So without further ado, let's get into it and check this game out. Welcome to the Aperture Science Competence Center for our most gifted employees. I'm Cave Johnson, and if you're hearing this, you are exceptional. No, don't oh, be bashful. You. It's true. No false modesty. Oh, let's thank get you. started. Thank you. Thank you. Look at all those tubes, stretching off in the distance. Yep. Every one of them's taking something important to a genius who's going to use it to change the world forever. A genius just like you. How are you going to change the world? Well, that's up to you. History will remember what you do here today. Do not let us, and by us I mean all of us, all of humanity, down. So congratulations, chicken. you are about to take part in the greatest science adventure at the greatest applied sciences company on earth. This is important work, and you are just the genius to do it. God gave you these gifts. I'm giving you the opportunity to use them. Well, here's your lab. I don't mind telling you, we're excited up here. Moon landing excited. Newton, Einstein. Wait a minute, that's, now you. that's not right. I think I put the wrong tape in. Hold on. Good luck, world's best science. Okay, here we go. You, in the overalls. Get to work, or you're fired. Dad, they don't give out overalls anymore. Wow. Anyway, my name's Grady. You can call me that. What's up, I mean, Grady? How you doing, let's bro? Let's do introductions later. You should really already be... <sighs> Honestly, I'm surprised you're not fired already. Anyway, How did you, do it? Uh, I just sat you here are a... Uh, ba -ba -ba, product inspector. Okay. That is your inspection desk there okay. in front of you. You will be inspecting, uh, okay, uh, oh. doesn't say. Anyway, can use something okay. is going to come down the conveyor belt, whatever it is. Make sure it works. Once you've done that, keep doing that. That's okay. the whole job. Anyway, just remember, the important thing is to have fun on your own time before you come in. Otherwise, it's just, I don't, it's, it's real bad here. <sighs> it's fine. You'll probably be fine. Good luck. Okay. All right. Uh... All right. There you go. Okay. Do it this way. Go in order. Dead gummit. I knew it. I, I left the volume down. Hold yeah, on. Zip zap zap. That is how you inspect a toilet. I hope you were paying attention because I'm not saying any of that twice. Look, it's not rocket science. It's not even toilet science. Here's no. everything you need to know. See that light on the wall? If yeah. that light goes on, you're fired. <sighs> okay, okay, good. You heard the important part. Yep. Wait, wait, hold on. Have they all been smoking? No. You know what? It's not our job to test if the toilet's on fire, right? Just do your regular thing like normal. Move it down the line, and then it's somebody else's problem. All right. You think your job's bad? I mean, do you hear that? Hold on, I'll, let me take a look. I don't think that's a good... Yeah, keep to... Oh, oh man, keep bro. Get out of here, please. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um... Nope, I'm just wet now. Um... No, 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 no. That, please, it's working. 
I think you just admitted something. Okay, here's what we are going to do. I'm okay. going to go work on this in secret. Just you go back and pretend to go back to work, right? Okay. Like it's got to look good. Uh, I mean, just okay. pretend the most you've ever... You know what? Just go back to work, actually. Yeah, that works. I'll be back. Okay. All right, that one looks good. All right, let's... Uh, boop, boop, doop. Pressure it. And then. Ah. Oh, well, six months later. Hey, I'm back. Hi, right, yeah, what's I'm up? Back. Uh, How's it going? First off. You did awesome pretending to calibrate all those toilets. Oh, thank the you. best. Thank you. All right, are you ready for this? Presenting. Presenting the Aperture Science Turret. Go on, take it for a spin. Okay. The control. Yeah, and I haven't even showed you the best part. Here's the best part. Left trigger to open the wings. Right stick to aim. <laughs> and right trigger to shoot. Shoot it! You know what though? I mean, you're definitely going to kill yourself with it pointing at you like that, so let me just turn it around. Oh, nice. All right, shoot again. Don't worry, it's safe. I mean, this time. This time it's safe. Last time it wasn't. You okay. almost died. <laughs> I did not almost die. Wow! Holy moly, man! That is great! Was that great? Oh, I broke man, everything. the turret broke. That was the only one, too. Well, you... But don't even worry about it, because oh. here's what I've actually been working on. Oh, okay. Ta-da! Introducing the Mark II. This is what I spent most of the six months on. It was oh, one okay. month for the first turret, and then, like, five for this bad boy. Oh, man, you gotta take my picture with this. Uh, the desk should have a camera built into it. Okay. Uh, F12 to take a picture? Okay. There you go. Okay, good. Moment recorded for all the history books. Now for the fun part. You are going to take it for a spin. Okay. Here, let me turn it around. Okay, normally I'd walk you through everything, but I think you get it. Let's just open everything at once and see what happens. Oh, boy. Okay, go crazy. All those controls do... Wow, right? Ah, oh, this is great. This thing shoots so good. Okay, a part fell off. Keep going, though. Something else fell off. You can still shoot everything else. Don't even worry about it. Oh. Okay, quite a bit's falling off. Keep shooting. You're not doing this. This is a structural engineering problem. It's on me. You're doing great. I bet it's the glue. I'm 99% convinced of that. It even looked cheap when I bought it. I remember looking at it like, ah the extra dollar and yep here we are uh, I think I broke it wait up on RL5 clean up on RL5 Wow, all right, that, so some of the stuff I put on there just didn't work, most of it, like 90%. It all broke. High, or even higher maybe, but. Yeah, it's all broke. Some of it worked great. So all we have to do is keep the great stuff and then we, then we can. Um. So, okay, that's the police. So I'm you. one of us needs to streamline this turret, right? And you. one of us needs you. to take the fall for shooting up the warehouse. You, you. Because they're, this is a lot of damage, and they're going to look into this. Yeah, that's, that's you. Which job, which job do you want? 
How about I fix it to her and then you take... Yeah, I'll do that for her. Remember, if anyone asks, you don't know me, okay? I know you. Don't say anything. I totally know you. I'm in prison. Am I gonna break out with the new tour? Hello, Mr. Hey. Mouse. Well, I mean, wow. You are the best. Thanks for keeping your mouth shut and doing your time. I didn't keep my mouth shut. 18 I months mean, earlier. It was okay. way more time than either of us were expecting. I don't know what was in those boxes we blew up, but they were, wow, were they mad. Anyway, I promise you're not gonna regret this. Now let's get you out of here. Given that the offender has faithfully observed the rules of the institution, offender has been granted supervised early release. Oh, nice. Please sign for your possessions. Inmate's possessions are as follows. Desk, one. Inmate must state their name, print their name, then sign their name. Right. After the tone, state your name into the desk. Okay, that's it. Uh, Cyber? Cyber. Okay. Inmate's name is now preserved for the permanent record as... Uh, Cyber? <laughs> Moving on. Now, type your name. Okay. Type your name. I did. Do I have to sign? Moving on. Now, sign your name. Okay. Uh... I'm not used to writing this in cursive, but... Uh, I don't know how to do it capitally. Uh, just like... Yeah, that's... Yeah, this is terrible. I don't... Yeah, that's how I tried to clear it. As a condition nope. of supervised early release... That looks horrible, guys. I apologize. Desk agree to report within 15 days... Hey, don't listen to her. You don't need to worry about reporting to your parole officer. Guess who spent the last 18 months getting his probation agent license through the mail? Yep, me. That's right. Oh, wonderful. I'm your parole officer. Oh, great. I mean, not just you. I'm managing like seven guys on parole right now, but... They're basically reintegrated back into society. Well, not Tony. He's struggling a little, but anyway, that's all I was oh, doing. Poor Tony. I got something to show you. Let's get out of here. All right. It is never too late to met. You are both free to go. <laughs> Wait. Oh, uh, bring your desk. Okay. Okay. I streamlined the turret while you were gone, introducing the Mark III. Don't you think it's... Don't you so think I got it's... rid of all the parts that fell off and just kept the stuff that worked. I mean, it was totally over-engineered, so it just does one thing now. It shoots. Why did, why, it didn't need a satellite dish. That was just dumb. Why did... Why, Here, why, why, tried why, on these appliances I found. They were just lying around in the housewares research department. Okay. In, in a locked room. Okay. So, oh. I like that tattoo on your neck. Did you do it yourself? It's like a, is it a dragon holding a knife? It's nice. The more I look at the tattoo, the more I'm thinking we should both have it. Cause then we'd be tattoo bros. Anybody would look at us and know we are friends. I think you give me the same tattoo. Would that be weird? It would be weird to have the same exact one. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll think of it. About like a robot arm coming out of the side of my head and it's holding a wrench. So you got the dragon and the knife, and mine's similar but more a robot themed. Okay. Man, out. that'd be so cool. That actually worked uh, pretty well there, dude. Speaking of being cool, oh. I've got something even better to show you. Okay. Gyroscopic controls. It's real easy. Just pick up the desk, tilt it around to aim. Oh, and I keep can't, that thumb I on the right thumb stick, and you shoot with the right trigger like normal. Go on, try. It. Yeah, I don't have that. How much did the tattoo hurt when you gave it to yourself? Did you have the proper tools? 
that would fit, not actually, now that I'm thinking about it. You probably had to heat up a pin with a lighter or something? That sounds, I mean, that sounds... Oh, if I hooked up my PlayStation controller, I'd probably do it. Another tattoo idea I just had, instead of a robot hand coming out holding a wrench, what if it was like a skeleton hand? You know, so you're looking at it like, what's he trying to say? Is he human on the inside, or does he have like a skeleton trapped in him? You know what? I'm not watching it here at all. I decided. That's the one I want. So when we get a free minute, I'll find a pen and we'll heat up that light. Alright, everything checks out. We should just get that part. This thing is perfect. Yeah. I think we're good to go here. Yep, except I couldn't test so, the tire stove. I was saving the best for last. While you were in jail, I got us a meeting to show our turret to Cave Johnson. That's right, the owner of the company. Oh, okay. No pressure, but if he likes this, he's going to make us rich forever. Ever. Are you ready? Let's go. All right, let's go. Oh, toast. That's pretty cool. Hope you guys enjoy this. I, I think it's pretty cool. It's just to show the functionality of uh, Steam Dev, pretty much. What are you gonna do with your share of the money? Um, buy Steam Deck. I know I guess. what I'm gonna do is no. pay off the money I borrowed to make this turret. Like immediately pay it off. Or I'll, I mean, whew, I'll be in some real trouble. Plus the big, I'll have to pay that too. <sighs> Does it make sense to you that the VIG is more than what I borrowed in the first place? It doesn't seem like it. It's weird. Somebody overrode the controls. Hold on. One of the appliances I stole from housewares. Oh, jeez, it's got a gun! It's an ambush! Man, he got that turret good, huh? Good thing I brought a couple of spares. I knew it! It's the housewares department! How did they find out about our turret? I can't believe it! They stole our idea and. Now they're gonna kill us with it. Housewares, man. They're never gonna stop ambushing. I mean, it's not really an ambush anymore. We know they're coming, but I don't think they're gonna stop coming though. We need to think of something else. I really think they're gonna keep coming for like Basically forever. Oh, I was trying not to do Housewares, man. Can you believe it? Those guys are such pieces of... What did we ever even do to them? Not the fair. Pay attention. Okay. Nice work. I got the elevator working again, but we have another 80 floors before we get to cave. We're not going to survive 80 ambushes in a row. Your desk should have some buttons on the underside of it. Those fire the rockets that got built into the desk. They put those on there standard now for safety reasons. So, if you hit all four buttons at once, automatic death launch sequencer engaged. Oh, I did it before you told me. We go. We are going to launch in 10, 9, 8, 7. The modesty panel set to flight configuration. 3, 2, 1. We have liftoff. Woohoo! Right?
Yeah. Okay, really nice work. Good shooting. I think we're good from here. They probably gave up. I have given up by now. <sighs> okay, let's go show this thing to Cave. Also, I do have one quick confession. I didn't actually get an appointment with Cave Johnson. I lied about that. But uh, it turns okay. out, I didn't know this, it turns out nobody's seen him in years. I did know it when I lied to you about our appointment, but it was still pretty new information. Anyway, I'm not gonna lie to you anymore. <sighs> I think he might be a millionaire recluse now. So, be ready for that. There might be a lot of jars. Okay. Hello, Mr. Johnson? Housekeeping. Let's just go in. Mr. Johnson, are you here? Hey there. It's me, Cave Johnson. No, no, not behind the giant head. I am the giant head. I'm gonna level with you. A few years back, I got real sick. Body riddled with disease. I was a goner. Threw every dollar I had at it. Told those eggheads, hey, eggheads, make me live forever. Now, I know what you're thinking. You gave the smartest engineers on Earth a blank check to make you immortal, and this is what they came up with? A giant head? <laughs> Off by a mile. No. They figured out how to put my consciousness in a computer. That's what's in the giant head. Hey, hey, hey! I can't talk over the sound of you shooting me. You want me to tell you why I'm a giant head or not? Right. Where was I? Giant head, riddled with disease, eggheads, immortality, started with the small head. Ah, now I remember. Their first plan was to put me in a regular brain-sized computer. Then they'd put that in a robot body and, hey, presto. Well, turns out you can't fit an entire human mind in a computer that small. All I could do was tell time and know what my name was. Fine, fine, fine. I'm trapped in a head. I'm sad. You're fired. The end. If you're not going to help, get out of my office. Wait. What is that thing? It's something the two of us invented, sir. We came up here to show you. I think it might be the answer to your problem. Huh. Fine, you're provisionally unfired. Let's see it. Show him, partner. Okay. Well, I'm waiting. Oh, that'll work. I'll be honest, I thought you were two lunatics who dragged a toilet up here. You are geniuses. Called us geniuses? We need to find his weak spot. Some this thing's made of clay. It's all weak spot. Oh, no. What? You are made of metal, sir. So shoot the metal. Is it working? I'm in the head. I can't see. It's working great, sir. It doesn't feel like it's working, but you're the egghead. I don't think it's working, but keep shooting. It's making him happy. Ha <laughs> ha. You see that? I think that's his power source. Up, oh, here we go. Powering, powering down. Powering down. The great beyond. Boy, I'll, I'll give you two credit. That is one hell of an invention. You did it. You figured out how to end my suffering. All right. Suffering ended in three... Backup power activated. Okay. Uh, you're both fired. I'm gonna need your key cards. Just lay them down in front of the head. Not too close to the chin, or I won't be able to see them. Uh oh. Roll down the floors. You know what? It just occurred to me that the only person who knows Cave Johnson asked us to kill him is now dead. Yeah. 
you know what the punishment for murder is? They told us in parole officer school, you're not going to like this. Uh, it's life. Your whole life in prison. Oh, we should. Yeah, we, we, we should leave. Don't touch anything. And bring the desk. I, I touched it everywhere. Yeah, but technically I didn't kill him. He was already dead. Well, sorry guys. I killed your friend. I'm sorry. Much later. Morning, Charlie. It's me, Gary. Gary, your boss. Keep inspecting those toilets. Good work, good stuff. Good. Hey, it's just me, Grady. Yeah, just like yesterday. Man, this witness protection program is great. I don't know why we didn't turn state's evidence against those loan sharks in the first place. We don't have to pay any of the money back. We got cool new names. I like yours a lot, by the way. You know, come to think of it, you think they'd move us to another state or give us new jobs or something. Yeah, probably. Feels like everything is exactly the same, except our first names. Hey, you got a staff. Ah, you know what? They know what they're doing. Anyway, <laughs> see you tomorrow, Charlie. Uh, they call me Charlie. All right, guys, I think that's the end. His mouth. Oh. They're always good. Valve always makes top-notch games. I enjoyed it. I think it was pretty cool. And it's a neat way to show off the new device and stuff. So. It's a lie. It's a lie. It's a lie. Can you get the cake? All right, we're back at the beginning. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you leave a like if you did. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. All right, see you guys later. All right, peace. Attention viewer, if you enjoyed that video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe.